this is Diane. I am going to show you um, how I mix the dough for those awesome pretzel rolls. Check it out. I need calculators even for basic math while I double the recipe. Here is an example of mise en place. Everything in its place. I'm carefully weighing out all my ingredients and putting them in bowls so I can quickly put the recipe together. Mise en place is a great way to make sure that you have all of your ingredients and you have the correct measurements. If you don't mind doing extra dishes, this is really a great habit to start with when you bake or cook. Good morning, yesterday I posted a video or the other day I posted a video on how I make my pretzel rolls and today I'm gonna make, show you how I mix it. I'm making a double batch. Um, it's 4th of July weekend and I'm gonna take these up to some friends. We're gonna head up there tomorrow. And so I have two cups of unfed starter. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my water. And again, I did a double batch. This is the recipe off of King Arthur flour website, the sourdough pretzels, which I've uh, adjusted it and just made it my pretzel roll recipe. I didn't really have to adjust anything. I just changed the shape. Go ahead and mix in the flour. Already pre-weighed. Uh, some of the King Arthur special dry milk, or you can use regular non-fat dry milk. And then you can use sugar, but I'm using the um, King Arthur non-diastatic malt powder. And that's all weighed out. Our butter, nice and soft. Our salt, I'm gonna put the salt over here. And then our instant dry yeast. And then I'm gonna mix this all up. Okay, I got my trusty mixer here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. It's very easy to make this dough. We'll go slow at first. We're gonna kick it up a notch. Okay, the mix. This looks great. It should be somewhat moist or wet. Okay, so I got my container, spray. Now, like I said uh, in my other video, the dough doesn't rise very much. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. When it's a double batch like this, it's a little bit of a beast, but I can do it. Okay, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and just Manipulate it a little. Sorry, what I'm doing is uh, out of the frame. Um, I'm new to this. There we go. And I'm just kind of shaping this like I did with my individual rolls. So I want to make it a nice little plump ball of dough. Slap, slap, slap it in here and like I said it's not gonna rise very much and then I'm gonna cover that up and that is how you mix the dough for the pretzel rolls again it's very easy let this sit for about 45 minutes then you go ahead and divide them and and follow uh, how I did it in the other video thanks for watching have a great day bye and add all, whoops, oh. My yeast got away from me. My gloves on. Sanitary, but also keeps my hands from getting all gooey. Probably need to plug this in. Hi, this is Diane. 
I am going to show you how I mix the, I forgot what I was mixing. 